Non-inferior tree trials are uh, designed to determine whether it can be ruled out that the efficacy of an experimental treatment and the experimental treatment in the context of the small analysis will be the self-expanding is unacceptably worse than that of the active comparator that is the standard of care and that would be in, in this example, the balloon expandable. And this, this is done by ruling out a proper non-inferiority margin. So the, the first thing is that when you have non-inferiority uh, trial, it is very important that the two, uh, the two arms are very well balanced and uh, both optimally and equivalently delivered. And as we just discussed, there might be some unbalance in the, um, in the delivery of these two cares, if you will, uh, with maybe a difference in uh, optimal sizing, optimal implantation in uh, self-expanding versus balloon expandable. So this is a first weakness, you may say. Uh, the other thing is, uh, it is very critical to use a non-inferiority margin that is clinically acceptable. And this is certainly not the case in SMART because the, the, the safety, um, the non-inferiority margin was an absolute difference, an absolute increase of 8%. Uh, wow. So so that's, that's a lot. I mean, a proper margin would have been more 4%, especially uh, given the estimated average rate that was 16%, you know, 4% is already uh, clinically meaningful. Um, so, and of course, uh, when you lower the bar for the uh, uh, safety margin, you need less patient to demonstrate a non-inferiority. So you need a, uh, it's a smaller trial and uh, not as much uh, money and effort for sure. But on the other end, it is more, uh, less, less powerful and robust. Even for the co-primary endpoint, the non-inferiority uh, was not well designed and not well powered. And so some senior statisticians say, well, that the SMART trial cannot claim that they are non-inferior. Uh, so this is important because if you do not pass non-inferiority, you cannot test for superiority for primary endpoint one. But theoretically, according to the protocol, they could not have also uh, tested superiority for co-primary endpoint number two. So they, they should not have been allowed to report the p-values. 